Yeah, it's working. Yep, there we go. Hello, this is Tim here again. We're going to be playing some more of the Talos Principle. This time we're going to be doing the Silver Sigils, which is what we need to get to floor number six and kind of the secret ending. So previously I'd gone and would unlock this. This will take us to the first world. So there's sort of three. We're going to come over here first. These are quite tricky. So jam from within. There's no um, sort of gameplay elements. Just uh, right, keys here. And behind this door we have our sigil. So yeah, just sort of jammers. So we've got a mine here. Let's just, it's going to bounce along and come back. What we can do. We can open this door. We'll just sort of put it over here somewhere. That'll do. Actually, uh, is this going to work? That'll do. Yeah, we can get past it. All right, we're past it. Great. All right, so now we're here. We've got a ladder. We'll go over the ladder. So nothing in this little courtyard. We can see some keys over here, but that's behind a fence. But uh, here's a locked door. All right, so here we've got a jammer. And we've got some doors. So see behind this there's two mines and there's a key but they bounce off each other what we're going to do we're going to open this now you see we can't we can't walk past them they get very close so what we're going to have to do something a bit different we're going to get them out of here and then park them over this side all right you're in there next one out so we get the two of them out of here park them in there and then we can get in and get the key. And then I'll just park them back in there afterwards. So you're on the way out. So as soon as it's out, we can just take that off. So bouncing. Oops, oh, that's fine. Don't worry about this. It's, as long as they both end up back in there, then we can. It's perfect. Great. All right. Just like that. We've got the key. This room is not needed, so we're going to park the uh, the mines back in there. One of them's on its way. The other's on its way. Ooh, ooh. All right. Put you back in there. You back in there. Great. All right. We'll just open this again for later, because uh, oh, there is a ladder there. That doesn't matter. Let's just open the gate. So here, ah, that's what we needed. We needed to open this one. So here we've got a mine going in a diagonal, but we can sneak past it. And over here, there's another one, also in a diagonal. We're just going to get it to get away from the key. So it seems that when it's over this side, we can sneak past it here. Now when it's this side, we can get past here, hopefully. And then we can get past this one. There we go. All right, this room is finished now. Great. So here, I can open this one again. All right. So we're just going to need to do what we did before, where it's at the end and we can run past it. So safely, go. Trap you in there. And we've got the key to open this. So a bit of patience and that's number one sorted. We're going to come around to this one over here. Nerve Wrecker. Right, once again, just jammers and down there, I think that's for the later. So there's actually two jammers here, you got to make sure we don't miss the one in the dark. So as you can imagine, we're going to try and do some stuff where we're going to uh, jam this from the other side, but it's a bit tricky. Let's just put you about here. All right. All right. Now, what we've done is so we've got to the other side, we've packed one of the mines, and now we can safely move our jammers out of the way. So we can get this one. I'm just going to put this over here for now. 
move this out of the way. So what I'm going to try and do is to one of them to open, uh, jam the door, the other to freeze that, so it's going to be locked out of there. And I'm going to park both of them outside. You bounce off. Now it's good to do this. So when I take this one off, they're going to be both trapped in there. That's good. Great. Okay, so here we can see that uh, it's a similar thing. We're just going to open up and get one of them into here. Which can do a similar thing here. Oops, hang on. that's not what I wanted. That's fine. So we're just going to try and see if we get this right so we can jam the door to get it out. They bounce, is it both bounce? Ah, not quite, don't worry. We'll get it. They're gonna bounce, bounce, bounce. We'll park you here, so once wait, they both bounce and then we'll do it. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got three mines parked out here. We can come into here. So, as we normally do, we want to break the synchronization of these things. Just get the timing off. And that's going to be useful. So we can go into here now. And we'll just park you here. Actually, no, no. What I'm going to do... Here we go. Yeah, that's not it. Oops. Don't do that. Should we try that again? So get you ready to go, get this one off here. So you're jamming that. Alright, this should be good to pack them in there. Good. Alright, let's try this again. That's right, this one we were just gonna get you out. While we're here, let's just break the timing of that. Come on, come back. Here you come. We don't need you there. Ah. Actually, no, I need you to come back. Bounce off. Actually, that timing's a bit off. Those two. No, I don't want you out. Oh. Uh, oh, this is all broken. Ah, uh, this is just <laughs> broken. So much. Okay, hang on. what are we going to do here? Now I've just tried to fix one thing and broke a whole lot of other things at the same time. Park you there. Hopefully, we can get them all sorted. That does it. Alright. here. Now we've got one more to bring out. timing here. It's a bit annoying, it's got to go back. Can we get this? It's fine, you're there. Ah, yes, that'll do it. Great. Alright, they're, they're there. Now we're here. So, this corner is our safe spot for now. I'm going to put one to there. Actually, what I'm going to do... Put 
you about here. You should bounce off that now. Yep, good. Don't need this one anymore. Now we're just going to jam you. We come over here and just like that. Does that make sense? Something like that. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Now the next one is a bit tricky. It's called over here. And but there's an axe. So why is there an axe? Well, in this middle area, we need to break this down. There's also a fan over here, so we're going to come back for that uh, jammer soon. This is a bit different. This time we're taking things into a puzzle called Dum Dum Mine. Here is our Dum Mine with a key back there. That's where we're going to need the jammer to open that. So it's going to come out and it's going to follow this path. It's going to get stuck on this tree. So we're going to cut down the tree. Come on. That does it. Now we need to get our jammer. So if you happen to fly in with the axe before you've uh, broken down this, you've broken this puzzle. Yeah, with those trees it sort of stops you getting a bit of an aerial look at it. But So what we're going to do to start with, we're going to park this, uh, this will do, back here. This will get the mine out, and then we get the key, and then we can... I'll just park you here, All right. So, I can unlock the door. Now I need the axe again. There's another tree here that's going to get in the way. Alright, that's done. Now, we've got a, another door to jam up here, so let's just quickly grab that and do that. So we'll park you in the corner, jam that, and we're going to unlock another door. And we can see some red lasers. There's a gun in the distance, so we're just going to get these two to meet each other again. Old acquaintances and all that. So you could imagine if you walk in here and you think, okay, so I need a jammer, but you don't have a jammer. And then you, you might find the jammer and think, okay, so you bring the jammer in. And then you f figure out you've got to bring the axe in too. It's a bit of a weird one. But that is the first world for the silver sigils. It is now time to go and do the next one. Hang on. Just go back over here. So now five, it says the number. Okay, now what we need to do. So this is in world A. We've got to go to worlds B and C still. Right, so this is going to be, we're going to use 10 more stars to get in there. Now I'm just using a guide to help me with the uh, Stargate. Otherwise, it just takes too long. Alright. So, to start with, we're just going to put these ones up here. Put the long one here. Put this one here. Here we go. And in here. Alright. So seven is our second number. So that this is to basically unlock the uh, the floor. Right, peekaboo. So we've got a recorder and a connector this time. So blue source to uh, buzzers, a blue a blue door, and at the other side is that. So now we the first thing, where is the connector? The connector is actually locked in there. So the first thing we need to do is just a simple 
record, come over here, go one, two, three, that's enough. So my other self gets to come over, grab the recorder, done. Now I've tried a few different things, you think put, put one here so it's coming across and back there and then another one over here, that wasn't seeming to work with the, uh, yeah, with the two buzzers. So what I did find work is if I get an angle, if we just sort of watch this over here, it doesn't quite get jammed. So I'm going to get the recorder, get you, so just about here, and then I'm just going to stand here. So we can see that the from the blue source it's going to our connector, it's not getting broken. And then just give myself a few more seconds and we'll get our other connector, we'll place that, open the door and we've got our sigil. Right, let's see if it works. Okay, so onto the door first. Now wait for all my talking and trying to place it. Now I've got of course power the door. Block, uh, stand on the platform. Right, here we go. Easy. Now, some of these ones are. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I remember what I'm doing here. Cat's cradle, so box and connectors. So, you see, it's a bit of a nested thing in here. So, we've got a, a red source behind a blue door. Over here, there's a, another red door. And here's a blue source. Now also, we've got a connector here, let's just bring some connectors in here, uh, what have we got here? Now this is a bit of a maze of random things, so there's a red source powering this, and if we block that, that sort of, that just blocks a door over here, and there's a blue source, oh here's our other connector, let's put this over here for now, the blue source, there's a connector hid, hidden, there's a box, so if we block this, that one blocks the blue door, which blocks the reds. The one going across, which stops us getting in there. Right now, was there anything else? No, there was just the box in here. But if we take the box off, um, there's a thing, and then that blocks that, and then we can't get out of here. Okay, now I think yes, there's another connector in here. So what we're going to do first is just get our third connector. Now we're going to have this a bit of a redundant thing going on soon, so onto here, now once, good. Now from here we can power this one up, now this one is redundant, right, no, what, I needed that back a bit more actually. So if I connect that onto there, that's one. Great, so what we're trying to do here is get the cube out of there. Because what we're trying to do here, let's just redo this. Ah, don't worry about that. I'm just going to reset this up again. So first of all, the blue one and the red one. Is this going to work? No. No, it's broken everything. Hang on. Okay, hang on. So let's just think about this. So we're going to go from here to here and also to here. That's one of the side's done, is it? Now you are going to... No, hang on, this one's easy to get out of the chip. Ah. Not quite. Missing something slightly here. Because what I'm needing to do, hang on.
Hang on, no, no, get this wrong a bit. It's not the best to angle that. I'm just missing a little bit here because what? Well, don't think I need that. Do I put? Uh, I had this worked out before. So now this is not needed, I believe. Or is it? Yeah, let's set that up. Whew, okay, that took longer than it should have, but... Just getting it all set up. Okay. That's where the uh, silver ones, they leave them for last. And one over here merry-go-round connectors so to start with we've got a blue door so let's get in the blue door now around here we've got a jammer so of course we want to we want to be inside this side of it so let's get our connector in here let's just look over here there's lots of windows of course which we'll need later we just need to progress a bit first. Now we've got a red source over there. Now this one, let's just put this here. This will do. Now that we're here, I think let's just have a look. Is there another connector? Not yet. Let's bring our connector through. So this time we're going to open the red one. Now that we're here, bring our connector, and we can't do anything, but we're on the other side so we can lock the door. Here we go, here's the other connector. Now I think that's the one I need to jam later. This is where it gets a bit interesting, is that... Right, now I need to power the red door to, so I can move the jammer through, isn't it? That's right, so you... need to get from the source, I need to put you down here to power this one. Right, you're open. So we're not going back out there at the moment. We don't need this. We don't need this red one, so you can bring you back. Now we can open you. So it's a bit of, yeah, going backwards and forwards, but there we go. And that is the sixth one, so now we're going to go to World C. Previously I worked one out and then the other two I got a bit stumped on. Right. 
Let's hang on. Now. So next time it's the gate for World C. Or the Stargate, we should say. ten more of the stars and just remember that I've got extra three because I did the uh, the sigils of Elohim companion game so if you didn't do that uh, you would have need to connect collect all 30 stars within the game and you have to use all 30 to uh, unlock all of the doors and to get um, all of the gray sigils see so yeah, that mini game just lets you um, possibly skip three stars if you want. Now this one I think is down here. Not that door of course, this one. So once again just a guide, guide helping me out here. Okay, we'll go for this one. And here we go. So we're going to try the ones that's five. Okay, we're going to try the ones that we had issues with last time. This one's a really tricky one over here. Unreachable garden. Right. So we got a recorder, a box connector, and the plate. And this is a bit of about uh, redundant sources. So we got a blue door here. And yes, here's the three of the things. We've got the recorder, the plates, and the connector here. So to start with, we're just going to record. We're going to connect a blue source and put it about here. That should do it. And you can imagine my other self's going to get a connector. It's going to connect to the door, also to the source. So it's going to open the door. And then once the door's open, this one's going to be powering itself. Let's see. Oops, hang on. Okay, one, two. Actually, we'll just do this one too. Eh? Can I see it? I can. There we go. So once that other one disappears, it doesn't matter. that door is open so let's just look in the next part what well, we just opened so here uh, so we've got a blue door and there's a box in there there's also another blue source so what and yeah we can actually open this blue door from the other side too let's just have a look around here so we can see behind over here we've got the sigil and we can see a bit of a direct line to that blue source also got stairs up there. Right, so let's just try this again. So I think the first bit what we're going to do is record and this is just buying time because uh, we're not moving anything here yet. Um, you imagine that other self is going to be connect picking up this connector, which is kind of the other one, doing some connectors to... Hopefully it's sorted it out by now. Eh? Let's just check. And we'll go two more seconds. One, two, okay get the connector okay so connect first onto there open this door open this door also get to the source we're good great because also when this recording stops this one goes away and we've lost the source but that's fine we don't need that anymore and now that we're in here we have the cube very handy Right, so now, this is where it gets a bit tricky, so what we can, if you imagine we're around here, so you imagine a, standing on, a, on, on top of the plate, we're going to put the uh, connector, and that's going to connect 
straight onto that and power the door. That's the plan anyway. So I think you, you're just staying there. So let's see how this goes. So the first thing we need to do... Uh, hang on. So I think I'm going to come around here. So I need this so my other self can get the connector. It can connect up to the source, it can connect up to the door, and then I can hop up, I put the place the connector onto there. Then I can stand up here and we'll give myself a good, let's get up to 40 seconds. That's a good, good number. And hopefully that's going to all work out. If it doesn't, we're going to be trying again. Right, hopefully that worked. So first of all, we're getting this. You're connecting onto the source, that's the main thing. You're going to connect onto the door. And you're going to put it on there. Now that's enough talk, please hop up on top. Come on. That's the problem with these things. You don't want to rush it too much and then you... Oh, oh, come on, come on. Just like that. Whew. It's done. Let's go to the next one. Now we'll leave the last uh, over there for last. That's quite straightforward. So this one here is called Cobweb. So we've got uh, a box and connectors. And as you see, there's just a, a whole lot of buzzers around. Now, we're just going to get in there first if we can. Let's just put this down here. Let's, oh, oh, ah, I'm trying to grab that stuff out. Come on. Come on, it should, should let me out soon. Ah, come oh well. on. We'll get there. Let's just, no, don't do that. Alright, that'll do for now. Right, so, now was there anything over here? I'm just trying to remember. Yes, there's another connector in there. We need this door open too. Actually, let's just put this one over here to block you. Because you're going to be a problem. And also... Okay, here we go. Right, so we're in here, that's good. So, in here's our situ point, a red door. So, we're going to need that red power supply to come over here. Um, but first of all, we're going to make sure we've got the blue two doors open, so once I'm in here, yeah, to get the, ah, uh, come on, now is that all the, uh, the, the components, ah, there's another one over here too, yes, right, see, we're just wanting a massive, kind of, array of, This is the cobweb part of it. Let's just... Let's just put them over here for the moment and we'll work it out. Can we find a... Yeah, here's one of them. I'm going to put one here.
see if we can block this one here, maybe. Yep, that's blocked that one out of the way. And also, if I can block you... So I got the kind of the just it's just getting the fine placement sorted and I think this is not gonna work yet. What's getting in the way? Is it this one over here? Is it you know currently one point of failure, I think that's the problem. One point of failure is the issue. Okay, we're going to try something again. Just park you guys over there. Let's see what we can do. Park you right here. So just getting enough so your uh, redundancy in there that you can have some of them interrupted and keep going. Anyway, we got one to go, quite a straightforward one. Nexus. Right. So it starts off quite straightforward. We've got a blue source and a blue door. Open it up. Alright, we got a red source, a red door. Hang on. Mm, hang on. Try again. One. Over here, let me in. Now we're in here, up the ladder. Cool, now we're in here, we've got a door here, and this is actually a double thing. So I put this one here, now in here, we can send you in here. That opens the door, allows me to get to here. Now from here, we've got a red source, and we've got a ladder. I think we have to go over the here first. So that's the red part done. Now we're going to get the blue here. Okay, with a bit of height. Oops. Yeah. On top. And we're through. Okay, so blue source, a ladder, here's a connector, the connector can get us to here, we have got another one, but anyway, we can see over here, it's a jammer, let's just jam that, now 
how we get this one out. So that's for a bit later. So I think what we're needing to do here is to open. The, do we have in the blue door? I think we do. It's kind of in the wrong place, so let's just try if we can move this a bit. Hang on, blue door, blue connector. Alright, blue connector. No, hang on, we're not missing it. Oh, silly, there's one there. Didn't need that. Oh well. We just had a more complicated version. Into here. Okay. This is quite straightforward. Just have a series of connectors. You're going to connect onto here. You're connecting onto here. And you. Boom! And over here we go. Now we can just look up in the air if we want. Just check out what we've just done. Bit of a random bonus castle over there. But anyway, let's just uh, hop back out. So I think we were after 575, wasn't it? We're going to go back to the lift. So this is, in, in a way, if you think about, you know, the stars, the, the sort of the tricky things, finding them, finding all of them, the star puzzles, then the actual silver sigils, this is the sort of toughest and kind of bonus ending. So we're just going to go up to level one. We're going to go to one of the computers, enter that code, which should... Tracking of primary subject has ceased. Yep. Initiate. Initiate. Just get around the back side of it. And was it in here? Was this? Oh, it was over here, wasn't it? No, that's, that's not what I wanted. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, do I need to do that again, do I? annoying. Okay. Ah. It's over here. Anyway, that's fine. These things happen. So we need device manager. Lots of interesting story which I'm just choosing not to look at. Here we go, floor number six. So is this right? Was it five seven five? Please. Code accepted. Sweet unlocking. Done. Uh, we want to exit. Exit. We're almost there. Okay, this is the way I should have gone. Oh well. I'll know for next time. Now we can go to floor six. And the gate shuts and we're going up and we're ready. We're not going up. Floor six is not up. We're going down. My 
my beloved child. Few have given themselves so purely to my cause. Fewer still have learned so much of the mysteries of my garden. Therefore, you may choose to be elevated, to stand by my side and become my blessed messenger in eternity. But know that this is a sacrifice that cannot be undone. You can also write LOL with us for the achievement if you want, but here we go. And there we go, here's uh, a thing, so we're just going to enjoy this. So we're teleported. It's time to choose your epitaph, for your body shall be entombed, though you shall not die. So here we go, we get to um, choose one of these things that basically my Steam friends, if they play this game in the future, they get to see one of these. So it's a pretty cool little thing. And, you know, there's a range of things. What are we going to go for? What is this one, eh? Every single sigil, no beating that. Here we go, little cutscene. that there is no greater love than to lay down your life for another. But your sacrifice is greater still. For instead of resting in eternity, you have chosen to serve all the generations to come. They shall strive for greatness, and through you, they shall accomplish it. For you are no longer a child. You are my messenger. Credits roll. See, so yeah, definitely the uh, most challenging ending because uh, the, the first one we did, um, the Eternity one, of course, is not really an ending. That's basically just saying you weren't thinking for yourself, um, and you've got to try again. So uh, the next video will be going from the top of floor 5 up to the normal ending. Just enjoy the rest of this credits here. Oh yeah. Do we want to go through all the uh, things we think? Possibly, I think we get all these uh, people spent their time and effort. The least we could do is to have it recorded. I think I will do the Sigils of Elohim uh, little video for that. Mention it every now and again, so. And of course, the other thing about the what they mentioned with the uh, testing of this, they used, uh, used AI to see if some of these levels were possible or 
which is quite an interesting way of uh, testing your levels. I think we're almost there. It's definitely getting darker. Now we're getting to a bit more obscure things now. Almost faded to black. Ah, special thanks time. I think we should uh, thank Crow Team for trying to come up with some interesting uh, gameplay mechanics for Series 7 4, and that's how they ended up in this, making this game in the first place. Ah, we're on to Devolver now, is it? Don't forget Fort Parker. Uh, yeah, the VR version, I'd, I'd love to get VR one day because uh, it looks pretty cool. You get to use your hands for the robot hands. Are we almost done? Clearing the screen, it seems. Is that going to be it? That is it. Alright, and that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching.